There was a time, not too long ago, where you could get the newest flagship phone for the very subsidized price of around $200. With that though, you'd also get locked into a two-year carrier contract. Over the course of those two years, you'd pay for your service as well as the hardware. Thankfully, we've moved away from that model, but many people are still on that two-year hardware cycle, myself included. I just don't see the need to upgrade your phone every single year for what are usually incremental upgrades. But after two years, my phone is starting to feel a little bit sluggish and I think I'm ready for a change. With that, today I've got the iPhone 11 Pro Max and I'm gonna be doing some speed tests and benchmarking comparing it to the two year old iPhone 10 right here as well as the Pixel 2 XL. Now, the brand new iPhone 11 Pro has the new A13 Bionic chip and four gigabytes of RAM. The iPhone 10 is running the A11 Bionic chip and three gigabytes of RAM. And the Pixel 2 XL is running the very old, by now, Snapdragon 835 and four gigabytes of RAM. So let's go ahead and jump into it. We've got the iPhone 11 Pro Max in the center, the iPhone 10 on the right, and the Pixel 2 XL on the left. So let's go ahead with the benchmarks. We're gonna start with Geekbench first. We're gonna run the CPU benchmark now. This might take a little while, so we'll go ahead and fast forward. So the iPhone 11 Pro just finished up, followed by the iPhone 10, and lagging much, much further behind is the Pixel 2 XL, finally done. Interestingly, in the iPhone 11 Pro, for some reason, under the model, it says iPhone 12, 5. Next up, we want to go ahead and run the Compute Benchmark. The iPhone 11 Pro finished up very quickly, again, followed by the iPhone 10, the Pixel 2 XL really struggling here, finishing several minutes after the other two. Let's go ahead and check Antutu. So the iPhone 10 didn't start up the first time, not sure why. And the iPhone 11 Pro also glitched out for some reason. The iPhone 10 screen seems to have dimmed and it just doesn't seem to want to finish this test. All right, so we can't get the iPhone 10 to finish the test, but the other two have now completed it. And let's go ahead and try 3D Mark Slingshot. The testing is now done, and we definitely had a few technical hiccups, especially with Antutu, but let's start with Geekbench and go over the numbers. So in Geekbench 5 in our CPU benchmark, the iPhone 11 Pro scored 1,337 in the single core and 3,415 in the multi-core. The iPhone 10 scored 906 in the single core and 2,135 in the multi-core. And the Pixel 2 XL scored 364 in the single core and 1,600 in the multi-core. In the compute benchmark, the iPhone 11 Pro got 6,216 while the iPhone 10 got 3,242 and the Pixel 2 XL a measly 657. Looking at Antutu benchmark next, the iPhone 11 Pro got a total score of 456,292, the Pixel 2 XL 193,196, and for some reason the iPhone 10 just couldn't complete the test. I think it was a software glitch, I tried a couple of times, couldn't get it to work. I was able to, however, find some average numbers online for the total score, and it seems the iPhone X scores right around 200, 2495. 
Finally, we have 3D Mark Slingshot. The iPhone 11 Pro ran very smoothly, got a total score of 5,216. Surprisingly, the Pixel 2 XL got 2,964 and the iPhone 10 got 2,151. So there you have it. The iPhone 11 Pro blows these two-year-old phones out of the water in terms of benchmarks, but we expected that. It was interesting to see how much of an improvement has been made over the last two years. Something I wasn't expecting was the Pixel 2 XL to outperform the iPhone 10 in the 3D Mark Slingshot benchmark, but it happened. Now, something else interesting is that the iPhone 11 has this A13 Bionic chip and only four gigabytes of RAM but it's super fast. This thing benchmarks much faster even than the Snapdragon 855 in phones with 12 gigabytes of RAM. But that seems to be the case year after year. Anyway, that's it for me this time. Bite that subscribe button, leave a comment below, hit that thumbs up, and see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.